Hey everybody, welcome to Hard for Games. My name is Tony and I'm super excited to be here today because I finally found a Nintendo NPDP reader. So what the heck is this thing? Why does it look like a GameCube? Why is it important? I have all the answers for you, stay tuned. So in one of our previous episodes, we talked about this guy right here, an NPDP Nintendo Dolphin G-Dev unit and an NPDP Nintendo Dolphin cartridge. Just in case you don't know, if you're new to the channel, what is the Nintendo Dolphin? It was basically the code name, the project name for the GameCube. Think of the NX and the Switch, right? So for the last year or two, we've known the Nintendo Switch as the Nintendo NX. That was the project name. But now that it's switched, no pun intended, over to uh, you know being closer to production, they're calling it by its official sort of retail name, essentially. So the, the Dolphin is basically the GameCube. You know, when Nintendo was having their developers work on games, you know, oftentimes they would get development units and, you know, maybe the aesthetics of the final system weren't complete. Maybe the, you know, technical specifications for the hardware weren't complete. So they didn't really have, you know, GameCubes to give out to everybody. So they'd use these, you know, NPDP GDEV units and they would use these cartridges to store up to four games. There's basically four different slots on the hard drive in here and you could basically write to this and kind of cycle through those four slots for development purposes. Now, I would assume as it got closer to production, people would have access to these things. I don't really know when these came out in comparison to the GDEV unit, but I would assume because the aesthetic is basically finalized that these came out a little bit later. And this thing is just weird. Basically, it is a GameCube, but instead of a, a disc or disc reading capabilities, it has the NPDP like hardware just like built right into it. Look at this thing. It's like it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it should really exist. I mean, this is just the weirdest the weirdest thing ever. This is like the tallest system I've ever seen. Let's take a little closer look at this. So again, you know, looks like a GameCube. On the side, we have a toggle between the US and Japanese regions. And on the front, we have a lot of the same switches that we had on the GDEV unit, right? So you have an error, disk change, open, close. And of course, over on the sides, we have our reset button and our power button. The open, close button, like, the open close button that's on the normal GameCube doesn't do anything, obviously, because it doesn't have that like optical disc reader. So let's go ahead and get this thing booted up. Basically, you boot it up, and it has the same screen as last time. It says this is property of a claim. But when you start to switch between the slots, it goes to a traditional GameCube menu. So for example, here, uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna press open close. This is simulating me opening up the lid of a normal GameCube and switching discs. So then I press disc change, open close again. And then as you can see with the little lights here, kind of switches to the different discs within the NPDP cartridge itself. And you can kind of go through them all, see if there's anything on the disc. Uh, in this case, there's nothing on my disc. I, I think that they wiped it before they got rid of it, which would make sense. They probably didn't want people like me discovering it years later and finding some unfinished game that maybe they weren't so proud of or something like that, who knows. Uh, that would be my best guess. Although I am currently in the process of trying to figure out if there is any remnant data on this thing, that maybe it just, there is data, but maybe it just doesn't boot or something like that. Uh, kind of like what I did in the videos uh, on Metal Jesus' channel for the N64 disk drive. So again, guys, I just wanted to show this off to you today because it is just like so strange and weird looking, like a nice little odd, oddity, I guess, is really the, the best way to put it. Uh, just very bizarre, but pretty cool. And I'm, I'm glad that I found it. I've been looking for it for years. Now, that said, uh, let me know in the comments below if there's like a prototype or development system or something that you've seen in the past or seen online or something like that, that you would like me to cover here on Hard for Games. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and we will see you guys next time.
thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share, and we will see you guys next time.